Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to discuss about Anglo-Saxon age or Old English period of English literature. Recently we have started the free history of English literature video series on YouTube and this is the second video of the whole series where we will discuss about the historical and political background of Old English literature, major characteristics of the era's literary works and the popular literature of this period. So for now, let's make English straightforward. Before starting any literary discussion, you should always have a basic idea of the historical and political incidents of the time. Because without this idea, you are unable to completely understand or realize the style and characteristics of the writings. So here, our historical background for Old English period is very simple yet interesting. In 5th century onward, a Germanic group including mainly Angles, Saxons and Jutes invaded the landmass which is our England today. So there was a mixed population of many Germanic tribes and the original Brythons. There were less harmony between them. So as a result, the whole population was involved in wars and Angles were the most dominant and ruling party of the Old Britain. This is why some scholars believe that the name of England is actually derived from Angle land. Now remembering these historical and political features, we can understand the type, style and characteristics of the literary works. As we mentioned it before that the old English population was a blend of many different types of people and so their culture and writings. We find a small amount of writings during this long period of time. Beside that, we are not certain about the authorships of these literary works. We do not find variety in Old English literature. They were mainly poems which were existed in oral versions. It's a big mistake to think that the oral poetry was not a kind of art. Actually, the oral poetry was the art of memorable speech and it is evolved through many generations. These poems were mainly of two kinds, heroic and religious. Beside these poetries, we have a small number of prose writings started with King Alfred. But much of the Old English prose was the translation of Latin works. They have less originality or original qualities. Now let's talk something about the popular writings of the Old English literature. There were some heroic poetries like Beowulf. It is the most popular poem of Old English literature. There are many divisions or episodes in the story of Beowulf. It is basically the story of a great warrior named Beowulf. He sails to Denmark and fights with a monster called Grendel. And finally Beowulf becomes the king. The actual authorship of Beowulf is unknown. Beside Beowulf, we have some pagan poems like Waldair and the fight at Finsburg and some elegies like the Wanderer, the Seafarer, Wife's Lament, etc. Actually, we have to remember that English literature is a mixture of many elements. That is why it is often said that the English literature is both literature of England and literature in English. Though the evidences related to Old English literature were not certain, still anyone can understand the base and growth of English literature by going through the Anglo-Saxon literature. On that note, we are shining off, the next part of the series is just coming on, but most importantly, you people try to learn something from this video. If you have any question in your mind, just put it into the comment section below. For now, tell me goodbye, we'll be meeting on another slideshow English video.